This is not a bad start. This is, this is not a bad start. Mega with Falcon hard one? Ugh. Trying to make me lose rank here? But yeah, this is not a bad start. Um, what do we got? 12, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll be down one unless we sell something. But we can get a Tuscan poker here at the very start for tempo. That'd be really, really good. We can combine that. Not combine it, but we can use that with the brooms. It's on sale. Probably replace a broom in the future. Um, and yeah, I think that's the play. And that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take all three of these, reserve that for next round. And boom. You shouldn't really stay out here unless they have a shield. No shield, but they do have bigger bursts than we do. Our healing is better. Um, we just got to survive their burst, hopefully. Which we do. Nice. Very, very nice. Get that combination. Stone badge is pretty interesting. Not going to lie. Stone badge. Interesting. We're not going to get any more bows and arrows or carrots, right? But at the same time, that means we could just W key. Probably like a vamp build or something. Right. Um... You think I should go crit wood? I won't be able to go crit wood because I'm not getting the acorn collar. If go pick stone badge, go crit wood. If I pick the stone badge, I can't go crit wood because I'm not going to get the acorn collar. Right. <laughs> Yeah, if I do it, I'm just going to go straight vamp. I'm just going to go straight Hungry Blade, Blood Goober, um, and just straight vampirism build. Probably throw in a Prismatic Sword, maybe, whenever we get to that point. And yeah, that's what I would do, at least. Yeah, that's what I would do. As we vamp or Mana Mastery, let's do it. I got faith. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Titan. What's up? How's it going? And then we'll just grab this guy next round. Pretty much just roll with this. This should win us the next few games, I think. Very interesting amulet of feasting move. Chili, though. Got solid healing, but that spice is going to eat that wooden sword up for sure. It is great for us. Good game. Um, I'm just gonna grab this. I don't really want anything here, I don't think, to be honest. Piggy is good. Healing Herb is good. We just don't have space, but I can get Fanny Pack and Pig. I think that'd be great. Rock a little situation like this. Although, I could sell the stone and sell this chip Topaz for this Healing Herb. I think that would be pretty, pretty nice. A little icing on the cake. Do I have something in the bag? All my nature items are inside the bag. Oh, you're talking to Titan Clay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Poison build here. Nah, we still good. We're still good. Three wins in a row. Looking pretty solid. Oh, we definitely get Piggy Panada here. 100%. Definitely get Piggy Panada. Space is wonderful. I'm gonna pick up a wooden sword just for a prismatic sword in the future, just in case. Um, And we just go Piggy here. Yeah, we just go, go Piggy. We can put you guys over here. Anata on the field and Chip Ruby, I guess, goes there. And um, let's see here. We can move you back by one. Put a stone here for the Amplified Healing. And it's looking solid. I think I'm just going to go straight Vamp. We got a lot of healing herbs already. Got a Chip Ruby. I'm feeling Vampirism build here. Magic Staff with Spear is scary stuff. But the Spikes is eating that Spear up. And then we got a lot of healing on top of that. No piggy pop, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, let's get one more healing herb. Just, uh, take it with us on the road. First, Hungry Blade. This sells for two. Can I get this Hungry Blade? One, two, three, four. Kind of want to keep this chip ruby, I'm not going to lie. So I think I'm going to sell the stone instead. And then we can just rock Hungry Blade with Tuscan Poker. I think that's the play. It's either that or rock hungry blade with the broom and the broom can utilize the vampirism, which wouldn't be bad, right? But 
feel like Tuscan Poker is a little bit more valuable than the Broom in this situation, personally. Put that Goober. Yeah, we can. We definitely got the space too. I'm um, just gotta figure out this situation right here. I guess we will have to move you back, boy. Do this. Um, then again, this doesn't activate every three seconds, right? So putting that on the other side of the Goobert's probably good. Do something like that. I would like to put the banana there, though. I mean, we could put the banana there, I guess. So there's one less nature item, so less healing, but it's, it's another activator. I'll take it. I'll do it like this. What do we play with Stone Badge? We're just going straight vamp. Ooh, we probably die here to burst. Unless we out heal. Can we out heal? No. Fucking burst. Ah! Burst B words. I hate them all. That's interesting. That's interesting. Did we go for a Bloodthorn? What do you guys think? <laughs> An acorn is limiting. I'm just going straight, straight, straight vamp build. How people can get so lucky with zero economy. Exactly. I feel like we're a little bit high rolling a little bit. I mean, we did. We do have a Tuscan poker and four healing herbs, stone badge. I feel like we're going against other high rollers. I think we go for a bloodthorn low key. Like, I'm digging a Bloodthorn. We have, we're gonna have four rats anyways for stamina. And and we also got Tuscan Poker, right? That can help us out. You don't think so? It's very limiting that early. Think so? I'll trust. I'll trust. Um, I'll pick this up next round just so we can recombob it. And hopefully some of these piggies pop so we can recombob those items from the piggy as well. That would be pretty nice if we could do that. Now I'm trying to figure out this fanny pack situation. Because Tuck and Poster is a nature item. So I kind of do want it to be touching the basket, right? I mean, I still do have this stone here. So maybe it's okay if it doesn't touch the back it. The, the back it? What? <laughs> the basket. So we can still put you in there like that. And do this. Which I guess is fine. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Get that next round just so we can recombob. Um, I was like, where's your bag of stones? Purple shell tone is on a bag of stones. That's a lot of healing and a lot of impairment. We got a lot of healing though, so. Will we have enough healing? Ah, with his infinite DPS scaling? No, bro. Come on, game. Give me a break. I'll give me another stone. I don't mind. Um, maybe we'll get this. We definitely sell spear. Unless we go for a holy spear. Holy spear is an option. Kind of don't want it though, I'm not going to lie. But I also don't want to put on a deck to recombob. So yeah, I'm going to sell it. Hit this and roll. Okay. Okay, okay. Should I get this birdie? This is a recombobbed birdie. Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, realistically, I would have to pretty much sell the stones in the pocket sand. That's a whole 12% increase. And uh, healing I'd be getting rid of for this. I don't think it's worth. Okay. Don't think it's worth a rainbow build. I think we win this. I hope we win this. Spikes is going to be an issue for us. 
Come on. So is poison, bro. Give me a break. How? How? Okay. Give me a rat. Squirrel. Blood goober. I'll grab the squirrel. Just so we can have something. It could be another activator too, which isn't bad. Alright, we're grabbing this. And that. Alright. Um. Guess we'll do this. I don't need this mana orb, to be honest. I guess we'll keep it for a recon bob later. I mean, we could sell it, but selling it will just give me a blueberry. That's like whatever right now. I could also sell this Tuscan poker. I could sell the Tuscan poker, sell the mana orb. And get this Hungry Blade. We can rock double Hungry Blade for the next battle. Which would probably be better than just rocking this Tuscan Poker with this build. Although I, I would like to recombob both of those, but I'm not trying to lose. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to sell these two just to get this into the field. I'm just going to rock this. Okay. Recombob the bow in the sand. I didn't want to recombob the bow right there because I didn't know what other, you know, like we might have been fucked there and not have a weapon, <laughs> which would have been bad. At least we won that one though. Just, okay. Another herb? Sure. More vamp. Rat number one. Let's go. Um, we can sell pocket sand here. Rat number one. I'm feeling a little bit confident in this to the point where I want to get this amulet. Especially if this piggy pops, that would be great. That would be great. Maybe I should have made the blueberries touch the banana. Made it a little bit faster, right? Another burst build. We got a lot of vamp though. Yeah, our healing is crazy. If we could just keep up this healing. That would be awesome. Um, Acorn Ace? That's the only thing that can help us. Crit. Less stamina usage. Take it. And we got a bad amulet. That sucks. Do we need this for anything? I guess for prismatic sword. But we don't even have a prismatic sword, right? So it's kind of like whatever. Hmm. Shit, we're missing out on a nature item inside of this area. Um, maybe I can do that. Does that work? No, because it's not on both foods. I don't like that. I would like for it to be on both foods, but I also want the rat to like, you know, because this is on both foods and the rat's touching all three, right? I like that. Um, I guess it's fine. We'll find another one. Try to make a golem. Okay. I'll try to make a golem. I don't think we get this, by the way. I think we pass up on that. Okay. Double flute on an axe. Interesting. I think we're fine here. Ooh, unless he hits me for 66 criticals. Almost one shot to me. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get this hat. 
Honestly, I'm picking up every hat I see. This can go here. Or do I do 10% Amplify Healing? Are these better inside of the weapons or are they better inside of the armor slot? What do you guys think? Is this a nature item? Yeah, it is. Yeah, what do you guys think? I can get a 10% Amplify Healing, but the life still is also 70%. I mean, your Amplify Healing is what? 3, 6, 9... 9, 18, 21. Wait, 19, 27. So I have a 37% increase in healing. Ah, this one, that'll be a 47% increase in healing. That's probably better. Versus like the life steal, right? I think that's better. I think I want to do this. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I think that's better. I'm taking that. Debuff build. Uh, doesn't have the dark saber though. There's that. We're around early on him, but that blind is scary. Come on, we could do this. We could do this. Nice. Very nice. And you popped. And I got a recombob. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. Let's see what we're doing here. We don't need Whopper Tinker because we could just rely on Rat Chef for real. Um, so we can recombob the Whopper Tinker. We can recombob Amulet to Steel. Uh, you want to recombob the Acorn? Sure. Recombob Acorn. Thinking what else we can recombob. We also want to get the what you call it, right? You want to keep it? Oh, for the for the uh, what you call it? For the golem. Okay. Keep it for the golem. Good looks. Good looks. All right, recombob. We're gonna put you here. Trying to see how to set up this golem. Not the biggest fan of that. I think I'd rather do this. Keep those nature items in there. I like the 25 at the start. Okay. You don't know, about Panada? We are around 12. What about the Amulet of the Wild? I'm trying to figure out spacing here. I'm like, how in the world are we going to recombob it, right? I could sell Panada, get the fanny pack, so I can uh, put it up here, right? Not sell Panada. I could sell the Amulet of the Wild to get the fanny pack. Or I could sell some jewels. I mean, I could sell a flame. I could sell burning coal, chipped emerald, and heat in flame. So, yeah, I'd rather sell those three than sell Amulet of the Wild here. And that way I can recombob it. Okay. You want to keep the wild for the goober? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a poison. He's got two prim orbs too. That's a lot of poison, bro. He's also got triple uh, garlic. Our vamp is nothing. We lose. Unless we can burst him down in like the last few seconds here. Nah. It was bad. There goes our prismatic though. Holy shit.
Okay. All right. We're definitely double prismatic sorting. That's that's a no-brainer. Like, we, we just have to. We got it on sale. We've been saving this for the entire game. Amazing Rico, right? Absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's see what we can do here. Double prismatic and one hungry. We keep this as well. Do, maybe we get a stolen helmet with this. I don't think that would be bad. I, I do want to get this blood amulet, but I'm trying to figure out what the cell to get it. And I'm also trying to figure out spacing here. And sorting. Because we need to get the combination for the sword. We don't have, like, we only got one rat chief and a, and a banana, right? So it's looking like something like this. Because this is this alone is a 2.1. Like, that alone is a, is a freaking... 2.1. So we could rock something like this. Um, get a stone helmet. Because this is insta proccing. Well, wait, no. Well, yeah. With the healing herbs we have, plus rat. Yeah, it's definitely insta proccing. And then we could just sell you because we don't need you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Burning torch. We can sell burning torch. Get this guy. Or a little bit more vamp. I would like for it to be here, actually. That's why he's touching the prismatic orb and the sword at the same time. It's pretty solid. Honestly, we can even get the shiny shell. Just for the sake of having a shiny shell. Um, I want stone skins instead of a stone helmet. You think so? I'll trust. Kind of want more food items for this rat chef. I think this is solid though. Should I use this as an activator? Instead of maybe like squirrel, I mean squirrels will be five seconds, twenty percent chance to activate twice. Not to mention it's what forty-five percent faster. Blueberries uh twenty-five percent faster every trigger on this guy. So will this even be faster? I mean it's a two point six. Uh, we'll see at the end. We'll see. The, we'll look at the numbers at the end here. Okay. And uh, ooh, carrot goobered on a thorn bloom. He's also stealing buffs with his three squirrel archers. Man. Got 218 block at the start of the game, though. I like that. Oh, uh, we could kill him very fast before he gets the chance to get that maximum health. Let's go. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we got another rat. Awesome. Definitely getting the Nezuko on sale. There goes our cap of discomfort. A little bit of space. All right. How are we setting this up? What's the best way to set this up? You want the prismatic sword to be in a T-shape? So... I mean... I assume you mean like this. You got great range with amulet.
Um. Oh, you mean the shop one, gotcha. I wonder if this is the best way to set this up. Should we prioritize lifesteal? Nah, because if I move the Nezuko down here, it's not giving me at 40 anymore. But a 15% faster on the Prismatic Swords. 2.1 stamina sec. Hmm. You want to sell the Hunger Blade and buy the Crystal? Do you think we should keep the Hungry Blade, though? And use it? When we get two rats? Two rats might be enough stamina generation. For double hungry. No? Then again, I mean, realistically, we'll be fine with two prismatic swords. Like, we, we literally have two prismatic swords. We, we can't go wrong with two prismatic swords. He uses up seven regen. I mean, rat's going to give us more regen on the food items once we get more food items. Because you're right, this uses up seven. So two, four, six, eight, all gone. And then we're getting, what, one, two, three from there. I mean, with the rat, we could place the rat here and get, like, two more. Get, like, five. Eh, sure, I'll sell. I think I want this on a weapon. I don't know how I'm a fit because we have Nezuko. The only way to do that is literally to do this. That's that's the only way to do that. But Nezuko is no longer we're like we're not getting the 15% increase in speed from Nezuko anymore. That's my only issue. Fame just made life single is way more important than point three speed. What about the Amplified Healing? Oh, it gives damage. I was thinking it did Amplified Healing. Oh. Okay, never mind. I mean, it does make it 15% faster. Nah. I'm trying to get up to 40. Maybe I could put it here? And... Do this and do this. Twenty eight. All right, forty two. There we go. Okay, I'm satisfied with this. Besides this not being on anything. Yeah, besides that. Satisfied with this. I mean, I could do this. And then just put this in the armor slot. I don't know. I think I'd rather do the damage. I think the damage is better. I think this is better. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. I think it's better. Wow. Three fanfares. Triple boots. 
I'm going against like a stun locking build. Like, I don't know, weak ass great sword. But the fact we have a two stamina uses every single second and one rat going against three fanfares is absurd. Absolutely absurd. We're going to be stun locked. Not stun locked, stam locked. All right. Now our one singular rat is not going to be able to generate enough. Like we're already out of stamina and, our, and the, the fanfares haven't even gone off. At the very least, we have the stone golem, right? At least he's dealing damage. Oh my god, do we lose this? That's so fucking... St okay. I'm fed up with this game. It feels like I'm going against counters every single match. <laughs> That's honestly what it feels like, bro. Anyways, let's do this. We got ourselves the Amulet of Life, which is very nice. Don't really need anything here. More nature items in here would be nice, though. Not gonna lie. Honestly, this is a nature item. This is not doing anything. We might as well put it in there. A little bit of extra healing. Really bad matchup, aren't they all? Honestly, let's get this prismatic sword. I mean, uh, prismatic orb next round. We can replace it with the blood amulet. Have it touching both. Extra vamp item. Getting that bag wouldn't have been bad now that I think about it for the golem. Like, that, the, like for three gold, you get plus 10 damage. It doesn't sound like a bad deal. I would take bag on sale. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think about it until like I rolled. I saw a bag and I was like, damn, I don't have stones for that. Let me not do that. Then I thought about it a little bit more. This looks like a battle we could win. Like, he's got three rats but he's not even using like he doesn't have multiple weapons well he does but like these weapons don't really use up stamina like that so his rats are kind of just there for empowerment i suppose he doesn't have a thorn bloom so we don't have to worry about maximum health unselling presence is here but at the same time like his healing isn't really like crazy i feel like we win this i got faith in this I feel like we win thankfully We need more food items though for a region. So we can get more vamp. I would like to get more vamp. Yippee! Hey, Titan! Another rat? <gasps> this can go. Um, How much is this? 22. I want the amulet to touch a prismatic. I mean, I could move this up. And just put it here. Uh. Hey, that works. All right. Do I want this rat? Probably. Just in case we go against another stun block, dude. The issue is I'm not going to be able to get it this round. I mean, I could sell the banana. I could sell gems, actually. Yeah. We could put this on the armor slot instead. We don't really need the 20% chance to remove a buff. Or the mana generation. We honestly don't need you. Stone can be amplified healing. Um, I guess we get rid of this other red one. A rat for a little bit more. That juicy, juicy, juicy juice of stamina. Just so we don't stam lock. I don't like stam locking. Okay. Speaking of stam locking, another person with double fanfares. Chinese or di dancing dragon with chain whip. Interesting build. I feel like we're okay. I don't think this build is better than our build personally. So I feel like we're we win this. 
And with the new addition of our rat, he doesn't have... Well, he does have double fanfares. What I mean? Our rats are doing good, though. Our rats are doing good. Especially when we get this third one. We'll be perfectly fine with this third one. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right. I don't need this, actually. So let's see if we can figure out some better things with our food situation here. A little bit more. What are rats so we can get more? Uh, I don't think I want the pineapple, but just so we can get. Do I want the pineapple? I don't know. I'm going to pass on a pineapple. I don't want to buy it if it's not on sale. Okay. We can move you here and move the entire board over by one. Maybe I can move uh, this. Yeah, maybe we move this uh, basket somewhere else. Possibly. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Rotate the chief so it touches the blood goober. As an activator? Oh, you mean like this? Okay, cool. Do I want to move the basket over by one? Let's move the basket over by one. Okay. I think it was like this. I feel like that gives me a little bit more nature items inside the, the basket. I believe so. Like the blood gym. Give me a, give me a second. Ugh. Trying to make sure I'm doing this situation up here right. I think so. I think this is fine. I'm gonna take this. Okay, I think this is fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure we win this. This golem didn't even proc. Yeah, we're fine. We're, we're, we're golden. Nice. Anything else we want? I'll grab this just to put it here. Um, roll here. Another food item as well, which is nice. It's more vampirism. I mean, uh, yeah, it is more vampirism, basically. Um... I think this is good. We could sell the stones. We don't really need the stones if we want to keep rolling here. Another rat? We don't really need another rat. All it's going to do is, in, you know, inflict poison, I guess. We don't really need you. 
Unless we want to use it to make this 15% uh, faster. I'll grab it. Make both of those 15% faster. I guess it's not a bad choice. All right. Here we go. Double magic. We got a hella life steal on both of them. And we got increased in healing on this guy. This is looking good. I like it. I think it did really good here. All right, last match. Let's see what we got. Pause. Bloodthorn and double vampiric gloves on a burning banner. Gloves that haste with the spicy banana. This is gonna be a W, I think. I'm sensing a W here. Let's see what happens though. Mr. Dash E. This is what happens. Easy win. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, they do have double shield though. They got double shield, so our stam. But I mean we got triple rats, right? Triple rats, our stam is solid. Our stamina is solid. We're out of stam, and then triple rats goes off, and we go right back up. Right back up. Your double show means nothing. He's got more vamp than us, but our damage and healing is just better than his, for sure. Good game. Good game. Yeah, shields don't mean anything. We got triple rats. I mean, we are depleted, but we just, you know, go right back up. It's very nice.